All right, unmuting. Uh, let's go ahead and boop. Oh yeah, go on feed. We got. to take care of some uh, digressions before we proceeded the story any further. Mm -hmm. Start with Tomomo Aria. Oh, Totem is really laggy. Oh, should I turn it off then? Sure. Yeah, it was worth a try. All right. Good day to you, Lord Iori. Arya. Arya. What are you looking for this time? Well, you see, this time I would like... The most beautiful plate in all of Edo. Isn't that right, Arya? Kaya? Why would you know that? <laughs> Didn't you know? Arya and I are good friends. Right? <sighs> Aww. Yeah, I can see these two getting along. When did this happen? When? Well, a little while ago, Arya asked me to... I know, Kaya. That is our secret, is it not? Oh, right. What I mean to say is, um, um, a lot happened. I don't follow, but at least I understand that you two are friendly now. Anyway, you need to find the most beautiful plate in Edo and bring it to Arya. Not just any old plate is going to be enough, right, Arya? Right. I never imagined the two of you would team up on me. Oh, I suppose the only thing to do is scour Edo for its best plate. Yeah. Just you wait, Arya. I'll surely bring, I'll surely bring you something that'll wow you. The Fox Girl's final challenge. If you want a nice plate, try the antique store. A street stall opened up near here. Oh, they meant literal plate, not a plate of food. Excuse me, can I see your plates? Sure. Wait just a... Huh? You're... Do you know Iori? Those eyes. And those katana. No doubt about it. You're the one who won that tournament. I saw your sword skills with my own eyes. I never thought I'd run into you around here. <laughs> Buddha must be bringing us together. Can I ask you a favor? Please use those skills to chase off that vengeful spirit. Vengeful spirit? Did you see a monster? Yes, on the outskirts of town. That thing wasn't of this world. Please, if you can get rid of those monsters, you can have all the plates you want. Well now, that sounds like a pretty good deal, doesn't it, Iori? It's not like we could just leave them be anyways. Let's go. On the outskirts of town, he says. So it would be over.
over here. Stop by the shrine. This is another disturbance brought about by the ritual. We'll smite every one of them. Yeah! Piece of rice ball, okay. That should be all of them. Let's go report back to that man. That was surprisingly easy. Why do I feel like for a final challenge this there's got to be some kind of catch? Oh no. <sighs> Sorry for the wait. We finished clearing out the monsters. Really? You can see for yourself if you doubt us. Go to the edge of the town. No, I don't doubt you. I can rest easy now, thanks to you. Thank you. Go ahead. Take whichever plates you like. A vibrant plate. A simple plate. And an illustrated plate. With this many, there's bound to be one that Ryder likes. Uh, while we're here, anything I could sell to, uh... I don't have anything to sell to the boss. We're back, Arya. What do you think of this? Hmm. No, will not do, I'm afraid. I'm so sorry, Lordy Yori. Then, uh, how about this one? No, not that either. All of them are lovely, but none of them cost my heart to stir. Ugh, no good, huh? Please, bring me the kind of plate that can make my heart squeal with delight. Uh, this isn't going well. Just what does she want? 
And it doesn't seem like any of the plates we can find in this area suit our taste. Should we try going farther afield then? Hey! Why don't you try bringing her one from that store? Uh, which store? No way! You don't know the place? It's a textile wholesale store run by a weird boss! Of course. The name of the store was... Babylonia. Yeah, that's it! Look at you! You knew it after all. Everyone's talking about it. I'd hear about it even if I didn't want to. <laughs> and as for the weird boss, we've been uh, acquainted before. Really? In that case, you should definitely get a plate from there. Actually, Arya has been interested in that store selection for a while now. But she's scared of the boss, so she can't bring herself to go near it. I understand how she feels. Since you know him, I'm sure he'll pick out a good plate for you. Alright. Can't hurt to try. I guess we have no choice. We need all the help we can get. Even that damn boss will do. <laughs> because of that, I feel like there should be a begrudgingly saber. Just as in Proton John streams, there's a begrudgingly Wadu Waluigi. <laughs> What is it, mongrels? Looking quite needy today as well, aren't we? You could tell? Actually... I see. Rogue Rider must have quite the keen eye to take an interest in my shop's wares. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Which plate does she want? Uh, this is likely what she's referring to. Hmm. This is quite the tasteful piece. It's actually got a kitsune painted on it. That's actually really cool. I see. This is indeed quite a... Do you want it? In this case... In that case, the payment shall be this much. Of fucking course, it's not that easy. One million yen? Uh, you seem surprised. Were you not expecting this high a price? Fools! Show some respect. Mannerless mongrels will have no plates from me. Uh, mm. However, I will make an exception. Instead of money, give me proof of your devotion to me. What do you mean? Miyamoto Iori, you are to carve a statue in my likeness. Of course, it won't do to just carve it. You must create the beauty of my supreme form. <laughs> but, Iori, didn't you carve a few statues like that before? Just go with it, Saber. <laughs> if you do well, I will acknowledge your devotion and perhaps even lower the price. Well, in that case... Can I buy... I cannot buy any pine... Oh, I do have a couple of pine from it, Alright. And I just need to get him one. Well, I've done that before, so it should be possible to do now. <laughs> Alright. Here 
Here's hoping I can pull it off. Ah! Not like that. Damn it. I was just too slow on that first one. I was just that fraction of a second too slow. Excuse me. Uh, I'm all out of materials. I wonder if the boss could give me some if I asked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you short on your car statue carving materials? Huh. Here I find you again, down and out. Behold the boundless benevolence of kings. Two more pines. Okay. They're at least generous in that sense, that if you botch it, then they still they give you a chance to to give you a chance to pick back up. Yeah. All right, let's try this again. There we go. And you know what? One more. Ah! Again, that fraction of a second. Find Bishamon statue. All right. Time to report to the boss. Hmm. I suppose this earns a passing grade. Very well. Just this once, I will factor in the sad state of your wallet. We are in your debt, sir. Excuse me. Alright, uh... He took out the whole... Wow. He lowered it from a million to a thousand. That's quite a discount. That really makes me feel like the million was just a fuck with others. Probably. Uh, let's see. Uh... <clears throat> oh, and he takes it out of the inventory, so I don't, like, outright sell it to him. But I guess that kind of makes sense. Don't have anything else to sell to him, so. Uh, well, at least it was still in the neighborhood, so. Uh. Oh. <coughs> Just go pick a plate that you like. I'll be waiting with Arya, okay? Oh. Here, we brought you one. This should do, right? Oh, wow. This is pretty nice. What do you think, Arya? Uh, yes, it is quite a lovely plate. I will happily accept it, Lord Iori. 
<sighs> Thank goodness. This was the toughest search yet. Lighten up, Saber. All's well that ends well. Oh, thanks so much, Saber. And you too, Yori. Well then, let's get started right away, Arya. Yes, Kaya. I'm a flutter with determination today. What are you two going to do? That is a secret, right? Yes, do forgive me, both of you. Another secret, huh? What is Arya thinking? I forget the first thing we got for her, but the second thing was a cutting knife. And then this plate. Is she looking to serve us a home cooked meal? Ryder, whatever you're scheming is none of my business, but if Kai is involved, that changes things. If something were to happen to her, I. It's all right, Saber. Don't worry. I won't do anything dangerous. And what do you mean by scheming? I don't want you speaking badly of my friend. Uh, we were only trying to protect. Enough, Saber. I won't listen when she gets like this. She's mature enough to judge things for herself. If she says it's fine, then it's fine. Well, what if she ran into danger? Just the other day, we know full well what kind of person Arya is. She may be strange and a bit hard to grasp, but she'd never expose Kaya to danger. Well, I suppose that's true. <sighs> Can you swear not to put Kaya in any danger, Arya? But of course. I am still a heroic spirit, after all. You need not worry for Kaya's safety. Very well. I'll leave her in your care for now. Oh, Lord Iori! You never change. No, it is nothing. Let us be off, Kaya. Okay. Is this all right, Iori? Yeah, I trust Arya's word. Besides, if she really intended to harm Kaya, she would have done so a while ago. So, I think it's fine to leave them be. I do wonder what they could be planning, though. If you say so... Arya, what do you want, calling me here all alone? Say, Lord Iori, thus far I have gathered more beautiful things than I could possibly count. But, no matter how pretty a painting or sculpture, they were unable to fill my heart. But then in this town, there was at least something more beautiful than all the rest. I see. That's good to hear. So then, what is it that you found? Why do I have a feeling she's going to hit on me again? <laughs> I want your heart, Lord Iori. It's the most beautiful, precious thing in this whole town. God fucking damn it! You knew it! <laughs> My... I hope someone picks up that phone! <laughs> because I fucking called it! My heart? What do you mean? Are you a phantom thief? Can you summon a persona? Rami. It was right there! Come on! <laughs> this goes back to when we first met. <laughs> no, I will never let you forget that! <laughs> 
as sharp as the moon and as clear as a blade, your heart will be dyed in my color. <gasps> she doesn't seem like her usual self. Saber isn't around either. What do I do? Are you going to get yourself out of this, Miyamoto Yori? Huh? Aww, she's giving him a hug. At first, I wanted nothing more than to do just that. But you are as translucent as the moon. And the moon is beautiful because it can't be dyed. The moon? I'm sorry, Arya, but I don't understand. You do not have to. You need only remain just as you are, Lord Iori. Now, come this way. I have something that I wish to show you. What is this? Oh, she did make a... She did make lunch for us. There you are, Yori. I heard everything from Kaya. <laughs> what a sinful man. Sit down over here. I'll bring more food right away. Oh, that's right. The first thing I got her was that fish. Saber? Kaya? This plate. Isn't this what we gave Arya before? What on earth is going on here? The plate, the ingredients, everything I asked you to find has been leading to this day. The moon's brilliance is unchanging, but it can show many different faces, no? Such as a gentle face on a cloudy day. Or a bright, vivid face when the sky is clear. How wonderful it would be to influence the many faces of the moon. I've long considered how I could get you to show me your many faces, Lord Iori. And then, when I saw Kaya cooking, it all pulled into focus. I knew this was it. Oh, Arya has an adorable face here. And before I knew it, I was begging you to bring me a knife, Lord Iori. So that's why you began asking for a knife all of a sudden. Yes, but a knife on its own would do me no good. I had never cooked before, you see. Despite my appearances, well, I come from a rather privileged background. After thinking things over, I made up my mind to pay Kaya a visit. Ever since that day, she's been giving me special cooking lessons in secret. So this is the result of that training. <laughs> you could have told me sooner. Come now, Lord Iori. If I had done that, I would never have seen your surprised face. Please, eat to your heart's content. Now I wish to see your smiling face. It's not as good as something Cat might prepare, but I put my all into it. Oh, she referenced Berserker Tamamo Cat. <laughs> Acquired culinary delight times three. Cat? Cat? <laughs> huh? 
What is it? Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> this is the result of your hard work. I think it's quite beautiful. I'd be happy to eat your handmade food. <laughs> yes. That is the face I've wanted to see. Please, won't you have a seat over here? Allow me to feed you. Huh? Uh, no, that's a bit... Why are you acting all shy? Are you made all this food for you, you know? Yes, but... I'll gladly eat the food, but she doesn't have to feed me. <laughs> uh, what a lovely expression. This is basically, like, you and me if the roles were reversed. Like, if you were the one flustering me. You still there? Forest? Oh. You're muted. L like I said, you don't have to. H hey, Kaya! Saber! You can do it, Arya. I'm sure he'll be overjoyed. And she's getting those sparkles in her eyes again. <laughs> What's the problem, Yori? Just give up and say ah already. <laughs> you traitors. <laughs> what kind of face will I get to see next? I would like to see your crying face next time. Please prepare yourself, will you? I'm not sure I like the way she said that. <laughs> Completed the rogue servant digressions. You have formed a bond with Tamamo Arya. Okay. And... Oh, right. He's around the back of the house. Oh, you're... Hey, Yori. Saber. The Waxy Moon Ritual is almost over. I guess the big moment is finally here. Before that, there's something we have to take care of. You didn't forget, did you? Of course not! Right, Iori? Right. I've been waiting for a chance to fight you. Same here. Alright then, let's get to it. Wait, Lancer, we can't fight here. Eh? Why not? What's a big deal? All I see around here are some ruins. Even if we blew them all away, it wouldn't... These aren't ruins. Oh, I see, so this is your... <clears throat> Sorry, my bad. So run down, I got the wrong idea. An honest mistake, I mean, look at this place. In any case, I'd like to move to a spacious place with as few people as possible. How about Torikoe Shrine? I hear there aren't many people around there lately. As long as we're fighting, I don't care where. I'll head on over there. Alright. So now we actually get to really fight Lancer. Uh, okay. Oh, 
Oh, wait. Oh, that's just the outside. Uh, so where is... Ah, Toy Koi Shrine is right there. Oh look! Someone with a dog! Are they hunting? No, I doubt there are any hunting dogs in the city. That's a watchdog at best. Come to think of it, Kaya used to love the neighborhood dogs. Dogs are great. Especially white ones. Aww. Alright. Torikoe Shrine. Speaking of dogs. Sheep. <laughs> and we get a skill jewel fragment for that. And we visit a shrine. What you're doing? <sighs> Oh, and there's a puppy dog here, too. Puppy. Sheep. <laughs> oh, okay, those two people just happen to be here. All right. Looks like the fastest route is a jump. Yay! Before I do, give me a moment. Alright. Let's go ahead and engage. Mm -hmm. You ready? Yeah. 
Rogue Lancer, the Vigorous Warrior. Sub! Okay. Ouchies. Rogue Rice Ball. Ow. Ooh. Somehow I was able to dodge that. Almost got him. And that was enough to D. 
that was enough to do it. Ugh, look at you. When did you get this good? You faced my spear and lived to talk about it, Miyamoto Yori. To be honest, I thought I was going to die. I got lucky this time. <laughs> I doubt things would go this way again. Eh, probably not, but... I can see on your face that you're actually confident of winning again. <laughs> nice. You're a wee different from the Celtic heroes, but not bad at all. How about it, Iori? You up for another... Uh, hold it. Did you forget our agreement, Lancer? Oh, that's right. Well then, Iori, just like I said before, I'll use every ounce of my strength to help you earn your victory. I won't let you regret making me your ally. Feel free to call on my spear in any time. Kukulain. I like him as a character. He is just such a chill bro. Gorged on strength, the magic spear is thrown aloft. No enemy in the area can withstand its impact. Acquired secret technique, gouge and skewer. Ooh. A secret technique conferred by Rogue Lancer uses both swords to unleash a quick flurry of thrusts. That's actually really cool. All right. Anything else I need to pick up before we go? Does not look like it. Uh, there's a bulletin board here. All right. Uh, Is there something else I can do back at home? So Saber himself has a transfer, uh, digression. Yori, do you have a moment? What's wrong? I want to thank Kaya for everything she does for us. I want to give her something made with my own two hands. But to do that, I'll need several materials. Won't you help me? The ritual will be over soon. I know that we don't exactly have much free time, but... <laughs> Even still, I want to give her something. Because after the ritual is over, we... There's no way. <laughs> I would never say no to that. Thank you for thinking of her. Of course I'll help. If she knew how much you care for her, she would be overjoyed. Really? Yay! This, this is just the wholesome episode. Thank you. You're the best, Yori. 
So, what do we need to gather? Actually, I already have most of what I need. I need your help getting the materials required for the finishing touches. Dragon Tear Stone, Great Ogre's Horn, and a Mermaid Shell. Is this going to be something like the impossible tasks of Princess Kaguya? Kaguya? No, Lady Kaguya has nothing to do with it. Oh, no. Never mind. I just want to make sure. These are things that really exist, yes? Of course. It's just a bit hard to get a hold of. Just a bit? Well, Edo is huge, so we'll surely find it. Do you at least have an idea where to start looking? I do. I thought of one person who might have the things I'm looking for. Just one, huh? Well, let's go meet them. It's Arya? Oh my! Uriori! I'm deeply moved that you would come to visit me. Sorry, but I'm the one who wants to speak with you. There's something I want to ask. That's so. Yes, I have the material you're looking for. Oh, wonderful. Please, let me have it. Hmm. Well, I happen to be quite fond of it. I won't let go of it unless it's a request directly from Lord Iori. I see. I know just what to do. I'll give it to you in exchange for something I want. Oh, we just were not finished with this little one. Something you want? I would like the beautiful gem Lord Iori grips in his hand from time to time. Iori. Don't give me that face. Certainly valuable, but not one of a kind. To me, it is one of a kind treasure. Make sure to bring a lot of them. So she wants a lot of which is one of a kind to her? Alright, understood. Is she talking about those gems? She wants 20 gems. Okay, I can give that to her. I got what you wanted, Arya. Oh, lovely! I'm overjoyed. As promised, I will give you the material. It's a big help. You have our thanks. Dragon Tearstone. We have the first one. Of course. However, I have no leads on the second one. Uh, just our luck. The name of the second material might suggest we can get it from horned monsters. Based on what my master wasps told me, it might be the mythical ogre. Derived from a nettling god of... No? Just an ogre? Something with a horn. I don't think just any monster will do, though. Won't do how? How should I put it? They're just... not enough. It's only a strong ogre will do, huh? We should ask Sukenoshin if he's heard any rumors about ogres. No wonder there's no ogres anymore. They were apparently all hunted for their horns! <laughs> or, you know, driven away. <laughs> Rumors about ogres? Mm, all I've heard is idle talk at best, but... Oddly enough, I've been hearing them pretty often of late. 
Uh, that figures. Have you heard anything about a particularly strong one? All ogres are strong, aren't they? But yeah, I have heard a little something. It's about the great ogre of Todoroki. Oh. <laughs> Is he white on one side and red on the other? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You hear about Ronin committing Tsuchigiri, blooding their swords around here, yeah? Apparently a giant ogre came to feast on all the blood and resentment. Drunk on gore and malice, it wanders the Todoroki Mountains. They say the great ogre's roars echo from the mountains to far-off villages every night. Well, how about Todoroki? You think we'll be able to find what you need? We won't know unless we try. We'd have to deal with that ogre at some point anyway. Alright, off to Todoroki then. Uh, there we go. Oh wait, no, that's Koishikawa. There's Todoroki. Over this way, by the look of it. <laughs> Gibby! Oh, my kitty. A calico! Where's my, where's my knuckle baby? There he is. Yes, yes, yes. You know, given. Given earlier this summer, I played Stray, I kind of want to see a game similar to that, but instead of a futuristic city, going through a feudal samurai city. I think, I think that'd be an interesting idea. You have captured the boy. I've gotten gooped on the nose. <laughs> hmm. There might not be enough water flowing. I could always use my sword, though. What are you talking about? Can't you guess? There's practically only one thing to do in a place like this. Come, Iori. The waterfall shall cleanse us of our impurities. We don't have time for... Actually, maybe we do have time. <sighs> I feel so much lighter. <sighs> also, another Kibi. I don't like the look of that group of thugs over there. There we go. 
Oh, it's back over that way. Butterfly wing. Another group of thugs. Or no. Limitless sky. Plus two tech buff, but substitution gauge charge and one with the void. That's pretty good. Ooh, that's a good limitless sky. I'd have to give up my damage dampening, though. But the new one also has the that shell bell effect of like let's see. Yeah. You know what? Let's double dip on that. Okay. This is a Swedish cat in the world. A Swedish cat? He's the sweetest cat. I was, uh, I was doing a bit of mishmash. Ah. Uh, I really just want to lay down right now. Yeah. As soon as I get Lance on my lap, I'm like, all right, now it's time to lay down and completely. Saber's attack. Baby. Oh, shit. I hope that doesn't. All right, so over here. So this is the great ogre. That's quite a bit of magical energy. I think we can get our hopes up. Okay, 
Okay, and let's gouge and skewer. And again. Fire stance after glow. Switching to a different stance after gaining afterglow and fire stance will temporarily increase damage inflicted on enemies and cause your attacks to ignore enemy shell gauges. Ah. Shipwreck. There we go. Great Ogre's Horn. Alright, that should do it for the second material. The last thing is... what is this? Something that has a connection to the sea, I think. Should we try heading to a port? Uh, while we're at it, I guess we can go to Akasaka and turn in some of our um, things with Yui. Um, uh, Chai. I mixed up Chai and Yui. Ooh. That's pretty good. Reportable Edo Commission, so I guess that's going back to, um, Skenoshin. Uh, Kanagawa. Long time no see, Archer. It's been a while since we last spoke like this. Yes, it has. For some time, my psyche had been breached after all. As a result, I drew my bow against a friend. I'm ashamed. Don't worry. I know you didn't mean to. By the way... Rogue Archer, did you need to ask Yori something? I did. Allow me to speak candidly. Miyamoto Yori, I want you to fight me again. May I ask why? When we fought at Kanagawa Port, in the depths of my consciousness, I could feel it. I could feel the change in your swords. It was like waking from a deep slumber. Like beautiful wings sprouting from a chrysalis. So much sharper and quicker than when we first met. I would like to face those swords again before the ritual is concluded. To face you as a Kshatriya who has lived through a war torn era. I understand. Let's do it, Archer. Words alone cannot express my gratitude. We will face each other earnestly, holding nothing back. Prepare yourself. Archer, the man of rectitude. Uh, let's see. Lost the team! 
Shipwreck. Or no, Savage down for Again, Oof. See? Culinary Delight completely restores Valor Gauge. Actually, I might want to conserve that. Savage down for ah. Okay, nope, I still got it. Ouchies.
Sí. Sí. Uh... Savage down. Got him. I acknowledge your strength. You've done well against the heroic spirit. <sighs> I see. You are strong, Miyamoto Yori. The skill of your swords is admirable. That means a lot coming from a heroic spirit like you. Well then, though we did not fight to the death, you have defeated me nonetheless. You must be rewarded for your valor. But what can I give you? Until now, I've only been on the receiving end. Hmm, you should teach him a technique. That would make Yori happier than some random gift. I see. Splendid idea. Allow me to show you a technique of mine. I'm flattered by the offer, but... Is it alright to give it away so freely? Yes, there's no need to withhold something like this. I have no doubt that you will master its use. This technique will help you secure victory. Thank you, Archer. I promise to make good use of it. Please, call me Arjuna. Arjuna? Is that your true name? Yes. I have revealed it to you as a sign of our deep friendship. Please, do not tell it to anyone else. Of course. Now then, allow me to aid in your victory once again. You are my sole friend in this world. Let us continue working together. Formed a bond with Arjuna. Pashupata. Bestowed by the gods, this light devastates and then liberates the soul from suffering. The explosion of the luminescent sphere returns all to nothing. And now we get the secret technique, Agni's Crashing Wave. A secret technique endowed by Rogue Archer unleashes a fiery, slashing wave. Hmm. That could be fun to use. Alright, uh... Oh, right. Oh. Excuse me. Yokosuka. Saber? Saber? Long ago, I lost someone very precious to me in the sea. She was very kind. 
She didn't hesitate to take my blood-stained hand in hers. I swore never to let go of her hand. Her warmth. But, in the end, I allowed her to be swallowed by the sea. I should have held on to her hand. I should have stopped her by any means necessary. Saber. I... No, never mind. In any case, it's something I never wish to experience again. That's why... Yeah. Let's do what we can with no regrets. Yes, let's go. Maybe I was overthinking. Monsters, huh? Saber. Well, too bad for them. Let's deal with them quickly. You know what? Uh, do, 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 do. Plum rice ball. Fiend suppression. Nice. Huh. Something fell to the ground. Saber, isn't this? This is it! Mermaid shell. Not the most unexpected place to find it, I guess. We found it! We found it! Saber seems particularly happy about this one. Oh, thank you so much, Yuri. I'm so happy. Yay. I get it, I get it. That's quite the happy face. You can thank me after we do the finishing touches. By the way, what are you making? <laughs> You'll have to wait until I'm done to find out. Oh, Saber's got, like, big sparkly eyes. It's done! Are you happy with it? Yes. It did take a bit of time, but I really believe I was able to put my heart into it. I see. I look forward to seeing what it is. I'll go call Kaya. Wait here, Saber. What is it, Saber? You needed me for something? I would like you to have this. Oh, a pretty comb! I can have this? That actually is really nice. You've done much for me. Consider it a token of my appreciation. I do hope you like it. I loved it the second I saw it! It's so pretty! Good for you, Saber. Seeing her this happy makes it worth the effort it took to make, no? What? 
You made this saber? That's amazing! That must be why I like it so much. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> it's nothing. Please use it if you like. Of course. I'll run it through my hair 50 times a day. Oh, um, saber? What is it? I want to mark the occasion, so would you be the first to brush my hair with my new comb? Are you sure you want me to do it? Yes, please. I understand. Allow me, then. Oh, thank you. Uh, brother. Hmm? What do you mean, hmm? Do I really need to spell it out? Sorry, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, you may be able to read the swing of a sword, but not a maiden's heart. <laughs> Don't you laugh at me. Listen, brother. The saber will be brushing my hair. This is a special moment, so... Okay, okay, I get it. I'm in the way, is that it? I'll go take a walk before I anger the beast. Hey, learn when to stop talking. Phew. Was I too obvious? You. Hey. Why did you give me a comb? Plus, isn't this... It is. I modeled it after the one that washed up on the beach. So, I'm giving it back to you. I'd rather return it to you than take it as a farewell gift. Ever since that day, I've been wanting to do so. You're still worrying about that. Aww. This really is the wholesome episode. Yeah. I'm sorry. My beloved. I know. It must have been so painful. So difficult. Defeat evil and do good. You placed that heroic burden on yourself. Moving ever onward, shouldering that pain and loneliness without complaint. I was so very proud of you. I was proud to be able to stand by your side. I would do anything to be of use to you, no matter what it may be. That's why I went to the sea with pride in my heart. It was the first time I could open the way for you, who always carved your own path. It was the happiest moment of my life. My comb was a symbol of my pride. And so if this comb is a symbol of yours, I happily accept it. What's up? Just sitting up. Oh. Even so, this time I swear to protect you. Oh, head pads. Oh. Stuff like this is why I like the Fate series so much. 
the idea of you had all these like famous heroes throughout time and, and history just being summoned back into the world to get a second chance at something they really wanted. I, I think that's the the best aspect of fate that made me fall in love with the series. Alright, uh... I guess now I can... Take care of... Let's see... So there's something just by Yoshiwara. Mad Warrior and the Heavenly Flower. Oh, are we dealing with Rogue Assassin this time? Or... The wandering warrior who wound up in Takao Dayu's service wielded steel as the Miuraya bodyguard. But one day, the wanderer encountered a giant. Oh, so this is another of Musashi's flashbacks. Who would thereafter become the guardian of Yoshiwara. Wow, what a stud! Those arms, those legs, and that chest! You never skipped a workout, that's for sure. A heroic spirit, right? He feels like... a berserker? And I'm a berserker too! Must be fate! <laughs> Roll credits! Is he one of those unattached servants? This ritual can even summon things like that. Well, someone sure is raring to go. Alright, mystery man. <laughs> you better not go down without a fight. I need you to calm down. Oof. Dang it. <laughs> Oof. Da. Five great Buddhas. I could never get past that grab. Oof. 
five great Buddhas. I could never get that escape in time. Oof. Damn it. Ah, uh, I couldn't quite get out of the way. And he's still alive. Buddhas. Got him. He won't fall. A million strikes are like so many bug bites to that iron body. <laughs> you must have been quite the renowned warrior. But this is Yoshiwara, Dayu's stronghold. So I can't back down either. What is all this racket, Musashi? Dayu! Stay back! It's dangerous! Just get behind me! Well, aren't you a big boy? Just why are you carrying on like this, hmm? A foreign gentleman might not understand what I'm saying. But perhaps my feminine charms require no translation. Uh, he stopped. Or rather, he completely and instantly lost the desire to fight. Dayu, I'm just wondering, but do you know this man? Of course not. I'd never forget such a striking boy. <laughs> striking is right. Dude hits like a truck. But, I wonder, there is a tenderness in his eyes as he looks at me. You've really never met? <laughs> I guess that's what makes you Yoshiwara's number one. And this fine specimen is a servant as well, then? Yes, but I don't think he has a master. He must be what's called a rogue servant. As for why he's appeared here in Yoshiwara, I was trying to figure that out, but... What to do? Perhaps we should help him get home, if he even has one? The boy can choose for himself. Good sir, can you hear me? If you've nowhere to go, you can stay here. We could always use more able-bodied men. All the girls would feel safer with a bodyguard like you around. Hmm. 
I can't believe it! He calmed down! This is great! <laughs> Way to go, Dayu! Ooh, there's a lot of money. Yoshiwara, where we can report to Yamabuki. So we just got to deal with... Let's see, of the main servants, we just got to deal with Caster, Lancer, and Ryder. Splurging at Babylonia. Swordsman's pastime. Master craftsman. Alright. Uh, Dainin Yakuto. Hot water with various herbs inside. Great for helping to prevent colds. Uh, all right, let's see. Uh, I have some more to report to uh, Chai. You doing okay over there? I am. Just still waiting on the phone call. Uh -huh. uh, let's see. No other. Oh, there's one at Koishikara for Cersei. Let me guess, Saber is the one that gets turned into a pig this time. Turns into a pig, but it but it just has the ahoge. Oh, come to see me again? Are you finally ready to become my piglet? Very well. I'm glad to see you finally being honest with yourself. No, that's not what we... Did you say something? Well, let's put that aside for now. All those who wish to become my piglets must complete a trial. A trial? Don't worry. You won't have to do anything unreasonable, like watching Hell's Guard Dog. The trial is simple. All you have to do is gather some ingredients for me. Gather ingredients for... Probably for that thing that turns you into a pig, the Kai... 
something or other. I'm sorry, Cersei, but we're in a hurry. Yeah, sorry, but you'll have to ask someone else. Oh, wait, hey! Please don't leave me here! Sorry, this just reminded me of what happened back then. You can go. I won't stop you. You need to hurry and get your wish granted or whatever. Hmm. Guess she has abandoned any issues. Like we... I feel a bit hungry all of a sudden. Didn't you eat a bunch of rice balls this morning? Eh, whatever. Come to think of it, I'm a little hungry too. I'd love it if you could make us something. Huh? Do you mean it? We don't have that much time though. We'll have to finish our iron quickly. <laughs> Looks like neither of us can resist a pretty girl's cries for help. Thank you. If you would, please gather these ingredients for me. Pickled sakura and azuki beans. That's all we need? Okay. Alright. We should be able to get everything close by. You mean Suidobashi, then? <laughs> Let's go. So we head to Suidobashi. This is the place. Let's look for the merchant who has what we need. Should we ask someone on the street? Can we not cross that bridge, Yori? No, oh, that's not a bridge. That's a water conduit. We'll find a way that's meant for people. Oh. It looks like it'd be really fun to slide down, though. <sighs> over here. Chilled chasuke. Natto soup. So many noodles. Abekawa mochi. Another serving, please. Oh, no more? Alright. Quality clove oil. Oh. There was something back this way. Quality polishing powder. Oh. Yes, we carry what you're looking for. However, is something wrong? See, the car containing our goods was attacked by bandits in Todoroki. That place is far too dangerous. All we can do is wait for the next shipment. In that case, we'll get back your goods. How about it? So now we're clearing out bandits? Eh, well, I suppose that's fine. But we only seem to have to deal with some mess just to get what we want. 
Are you sure you're not cursed? No way. I don't remember anything like that happening. In fact, before I met you, Saber, I rarely had to deal with this kind of trouble. Is that the way you see it, Iorni? <laughs> Saber pout. I didn't mean anything by it. Let's head for Todoroki. Now then, where's that bandit hideout? The merchant said it was in the cave. Let's try going there first. Look, Yori. Isn't that plant there Molly? No, that's not Molly. That's a different flower. Really? The white flowers and black roots look just like it. They do, but the smell is different. Huh. I'm surprised I can tell the difference. <laughs> of all the callbacks. Sure enough, it's those guys we saw earlier. Is this the cave? Hey, what are you two doing here? We came to get back the goods you stole. Hand it over if you don't want to suffer. Tough words, brat. I'll take everything you've got and make you into mincemeat. Oh, and that was the last one for that experience buff, too. That's good. Hmm, nothing. We searched the whole cave. Hey, where did you take the stolen goods? The, the, the temple! We left it all at the temple near here! Temple? We had a feast at the temple because we got so much good food. But monsters showed up partway through. I'm sure it was Buddha punishing us. So you left what you took and came back to your hideout, huh? Bandits don't seem to change much, no matter what era it is. Temple... Temple... The one close to here is... Todoroki Fudosan. Let's go see. Okay, so I gotta make a bit of a loop. Da, da, da. Jochi no bake. These must be the monsters they were talking about. These are nothing. Uh, let's see. Lost at sea.
There we go. Yori, look! Pickled sakura. And azuki beans. Yeah, that's it. Looks like the remaining ingredients are safe. Let's head back to Suidobashi then. We'll be there soon, merchant. Can't believe he gave us the food for free. What a kind merchant. It was certainly worth the effort. Alright, let's take this to Cersei. Here are the ingredients you asked for. Good work. Okay, I'll go cook. You guys hold the fort. Are you ready, Saber? Hmm? No, I'm not eating it. Someone has to be here to turn you back to normal. I see. So I'm on my own. Hey, sorry to keep you waiting. Here, take this. Piglet's Sakura Mochi. This is... My homemade candy. One bite will put a smile on your face. Two bites for unmatched vigor. To be clear, there are no strange spells in them. Eating them won't turn you into a pig. I made them in the style of this country's sweets, so it should suit your taste. I see. So there are candies inside. Oh, the sweetness is just right. I thought you weren't eating. Thank you, Cersei. I'll happily accept them. I'd like to give you something in return, but there's nothing special in our house. But there is! Hmm? There's rice, right? There is, but... We can't give her that. Rice is delicious, you know! It goes great with Kaya's miso soup. Oh, Cersei! Kaya is uh, Iori's little sister. What is it, Cersei? No, no, it's nothing. Nothing at all. You guys are short on time, right? You should hurry up and go. What's with you? Calm down, Saber. We are strapped for time. Let's be on our way. A meal, huh? And now I want a traditional Japanese version of, uh, what was the show's name again? Today's Meal for the Emiya Family? I think that would be nice and wholesome. Uh, alright. I think that's all the digressions. There's a digression in Kaneji. I do not like that.
lost the team. That kind of hoided. Timing was perfect just now. Uh oh. Oh, those are the Onmyoji we saw before. Could they be planning something again, even without Tsuchimikado? No signs of servants in the area. We'll simply ask them directly. Wait, Saber. We can't just... Good grief. I see. And how did things proceed? Sir, everything went smoothly in Kanagawa. The foreign mage also seems to be doing well in Yokosuka and Akasaka. I'm pleased to hear it. Then we simply need to attend to... That's far enough. Just what do you think you're up to? You. With my brother gone, I have no schemes or intentions to do you any harm. Easy for you to say. Not as easy to believe. Doubt me if you wish. I could hardly blame you. But things are different now. We have duties that we must fulfill. A monster nest has been located. Lord Takatoshi, we must do that at once. Subduing monsters, are you? This peaceful world need not know of them. Mystic matters must be hidden from the people. Such thinking may be more in line with Western mages than the old Myoji of old, but even we must adapt to the times. Having succeeded as the ritual's overseer, I cannot allow monsters to run rampant. Now, if you'll excuse me. Let's see what he's up to. I may have my reservations about Tsuchimikado, but that's neither here nor there. My brother's keeper. Uh, today sure is my lucky day. A day like this calls for a nice drink and a quiet mo Monster! 
monsters? You there, stand back. Good grief. What on earth is that Tsuchi Mikado doing? They may be dealing with other monsters. Or perhaps they simply lost track of these. What a pain. I have to deal with them, Iori. Cersei, your turn. <laughs> Just lasers that demon in the face. As if you had to ask, we're the ones who should be asking what you were doing. Well, you see, we lost track of the monsters, and... Hey, I heard a pretty loud noise. Did something happen? Lord Takatoshi, please allow me. <coughs> As you will. Uh, now then, you two, please step aside for a moment. Hey, what's all the commotion about? Please listen. Just now. Small fire broke out over there. It's caused a bit of a mess. Huh? No, monsters came and... Monsters? What are you on about? I bet you were just too drunk to see straight again. No, that can't be. Can it? Well... In any case, I advise you to keep away for now. Check the Kawaraban for more details later. I see. So the tranquility here, despite the rumors of monsters, is thanks to you all. We will not needlessly stir up trouble in Edo. That is one of our agreements with the authorities. Although a master may settle things themselves, such as in Yokosuka and Akasaka, neither monsters nor heroic spirits are generous enough to care about where they fight. Lord Takatoshi, we spotted more monsters over there. Please, make haste. Of course. Lord Miyamoto and Saber, I humbly ask for your assistance. Please lend us your aid in subjugating the monsters of this place. What will you do, Iori? The monsters pose a threat to the town. I see no reason to refuse. Is it all the way back at the temple? Not quite. It's over in this direction for sure. this okay. 
I don't see anyone else nearby. Alright, let's finish this quickly. Uh, Piglet Stampede! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Gouge and skewer. Okay, got the cursed lanterns. Savage down. Gotcha. Excellent work, you two. You can leave the rest to us. Are the preparations complete? Yes, sir. Everything is well in hand. Then please proceed as planned. You certainly run a tight ship. I've always been good at things like this. <laughs> Much more so than with magic. Now then, as the presence of monsters is faded, we shall return to Kaneiji. Allow me to again express my thanks. We would not have been any match for them alone. Uh, there's no need to thank us. That certainly wasn't something you all could have taken care of on your own. We practically slew all the monsters for you, didn't we? Could it be that you're unskilled at magic? Indeed. You're very perceptive. I fall short of my brother in many ways. All I ever had to do until now was follow the instructions he gave me. My household has lost too much power to make use of its, much of its lineage with the great Seimei. Only my brother had such strength. Scorn, contempt, disgrace. My brother bore it all and remained strong. I still have a little time. Okay. His Majesty has given his approval. You may carry out this waxing moon ritual. You have my thanks. You understand, yes, Tsuchimikado?
Should the waxing moon truly contain power, its might should rest in the Shogunate's hands. There can be no threat to the eternal reign of Tokugawa. There's no power we do not control. But of course, I will present the waxing moon to his majesty when the ritual is complete. Thus are you fit to lead the Onmyoji. Much more so than the successors of the Kotokui. You honor me with your praise. To this day, I do not know for certain. Did my brother truly intend to present the waxing moon to the shogunate? You simply have no magical talent, Takatoshi. Train all you like, it will accomplish little. Yes, brother. I am aware. Come now, you're next in line to lead our house. It's high time you acted like it. But as you say, I'm truly without talent. I could never serve as our house's leader. There are other talents than magic. As gifted in magic as our father was, he still lost his status to political upheaval. I will lay the groundwork, a path for our proud house to regain its glory. Your job will be to walk that path, but you must do so boldly and without shame. He sought our house's revival above all else. Even if only in some small way, if I could have managed to meet brother's expectations, then he may not have needed to walk a path of violence. What will you do now? Will you inherit Tsuchimikado Yasuhiro's ambition and attempt to stand in our way? I will, of course, inherit his life's work. However, my brother and I are not the same person. Not even close. I will see it done in my own way. Whatever comes, I will not betray the ambition he has entrusted to me. I see. I will take my leave. There is much work yet to be done. I wish you luck, and I will pray for your success in my brother's place. Even without a sword or magical prowess, he stands unflinching before monsters. As far as strength of will, you and your brother are not so different. Alright! Not much story progression, but we got a good bit done. Ooh. A couple of items over here to pick up. Beastly Ferocity and Cloud Dragon Guard. Alright, I think I'll go ahead and do a couple of things to finish up. And, uh... Yeah. Oh, right, because I did that for Arjuna. Okay, neat. Glowing Cloud Scabbard. Uh, with some buffs. 
Then again, the Misty Pearl Scabbards are still better. Glowing Cloud, Cloud Dragon. Oh! That is a good black ink braid. Okay, and... Ooh, good beastly ferocities. There we go. Alright, uh... Back home, I believe. Oh. I did. Are you in? <sighs> Brother! What is it, Kaya? You seem more frantic than usual. Uh, how should I explain this? Not too long ago, a cute, super smart piggy came trotting along. A piggy? Yes, a pig! And it talks! It asked me if I was your little sister. A talking pig. It has to be Cersei. Did she send a familiar over here? I was completely blown away! Oh! And the little piggy had a message for you. Hello, my lovely piglet to be. Have you been missing your owner? You did a splendid job solving that problem the other day. You truly are wonderful pets. By the way, you haven't forgotten our promise, have you? I certainly didn't raise you to be naughty pigs that go back on their work. And so, I will leave a message with your sister. Don't say I didn't remind you, okay? And that's it. But Iori, an owner? If your master knew you were into that kind of thing, he'd cry. <laughs> Where did you learn about stuff like that? Don't misunderstand. She's one of our allies. A promise? Oh! Did we promise to invite her to the house? Yeah. Then let's do it right away. Are we going to have a guest over? If your owner is coming over, then I need to get everything perfect. She isn't my owner. <sighs> Damn it, Cersei. In any case, we need your help, Kaya. Please, prepare a meal as you normally do. <laughs> I'll help too. Sorry to keep you waiting, my piglets to be. Were you lonely without your owner? I bet you were. I even brought a gift. This is a handmade mystic code. Expect great things from it. Acquired clipped wings. Turns one enemy minor spirit font without a bounded field into an unclaimed state. Ooh. That sounds really good. And also, we don't have much to offer, but I'm glad to see you so happy. Happy? I seem happy, huh? Well, it has been a while since I've been invited somewhere. You know, I'm always the one waiting to entertain guests that might never show up. But if you really want me to, I don't mind popping by now and then. After all, it's an owner's duty to look after her lovely little piglets. Ah, oh, how bittersweet. I thought you were a scary witch, but you have such a sweet side. Look here, you. Do you want to be a pig again? Heaven forbid. 
<laughs> Setting the amusing books comment aside. It's true. I am happy. I want to return the favor. To be useful somehow. Being unable to leave the spirit font for long makes it tricky, but... If it's something I can help with, then I would do anything for you. You sure are popular, Iori. What are you talking about? <laughs> he doesn't know he's the harem protagonist. <laughs> Brothers, hey bear, let me carry the food. Okay, we'll be right there. Wait here a second, Cersei. Of course, I'm always waiting. Now then, I want to enjoy myself today. I expect a warm welcome. Metabol Piglets The noble phantasm Metabol Piglets has been unlocked. An invitation to the feast of beasts and madness. All are trampled beneath the marauding swine. Formed a bond with Cersei. Okay, so that digression was just the cutscene. You cannot hold any more support mystic code. Select which support mystic code to discard. Uh, hmm. Seizes all adjacent unclaimed minor spirit fonts that do not have bounded fields. I do want to keep that one. Uh, shadow stitching. I think I'll get rid of one of the stout shadow stitchings. All right. Workshop renovation. Uh, Eagle eyes. Du, 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 du. I'll do one last bit of sword maintenance. Chain sword is a happy sword. All right. Uh, with that, I think we'll go ahead and save. All right. <laughs> and I guess next stream we'll start what may be the final arc of uh, this game. Uh, let's see who we can raid and what we can raid with. Let's go ahead and raid a buddy of mine. Uh, okay. I 
I had a raid message in my... Oh, there we go. And our raid message will be the wholesome episode. I think I spelt that right by the look of it. Yep, okay. Um, tomorrow the stream will be in the evening. can think of. Alright, well, in that case, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Let's go ahead and raid.